Hey everyone, it is Sunday, August the 25th, around 10 a.m. And today we're hiking in the Reed Mountain Preserve on the northern outskirts of Roanoke, Virginia. Currently hiking the Buzzard Rock Trail. Already been hiking about a mile and a quarter and less than three quarters of a mile from the prominent overlook. And from that overlook, we're gonna bushwhack to the top of Reed Mountain, which has over a thousand feet of prominence, putting it on the Virginia 1K prominence list. And from there, instead of turning around, there are a few more trails in this preserve and we're gonna make a loop out of it. Uh, I think it's gonna be about five miles or so. Uh, it's hard to tell because the actual trail map at the trailhead doesn't have the mileages listed and the rough PDF online does have mileages, but the trails just look different from the trail map and the PDF map online. But it's really cool that this preserve is located just on the outskirts of Roanoke and there are a lot of nice parks in this area. So we thought it'd be a good warm up to our day after the hard hike to Big House and Little House Mountains yesterday. Uh, this should be about a 950 foot elevation gain from the parking lot to the summit. And from there, the, the loop trails are gonna follow the ridge line for the most part before descending. So I think it should be about two and a half hours tops. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna travel south back towards North Carolina and hit up some county high points and 1K prominence peaks that are mostly service road, forest road, driving with a few minutes walk to the summit, but they usually require the uh, all wheel or four wheel drive, which my friend Jonathan has a Subaru Outback. So whenever we hike together, we try to add some of these remote peaks that require long drives that my regular car cannot handle. But well, I think uh, next stop in about 20 minutes is gonna be Buzzard Rock. About a quarter mile from Buzzard's Rock. I think earlier I said Buzzard Rock. So I'll have to check the map and see which one is correct. But I want to give you a general idea of the trail conditions in the Reed Mountain Preserve. And I'd say they're pretty darn good. Uh, reserves and preserves can be hit or miss. Uh, usually if they're closer to large towns and cities, they're well-traveled and are maintained regularly. But I've also been in these types of areas far away from general populations and there have been some horrible conditions I've had to push through really high weeds and briars, no signs, no blazes, sometimes no maps. So I'm really pleased with this area. And the footbed, I have to say, reminds me of both Hanging Rock State Park and Crowder's Mountain State Park. So overall, really good trail experience so far with very consistent blazes and signs at every major trail intersection. But I can see up ahead, there is a spur trail listed to Buzzer's Rock. So I'll be there shortly. This is Buzzard's Rock. I actually continued to explore the trail past this, the blazes end, but an obvious trail continues for at least a quarter mile to more and more rocks but this has the best view. The others are much more obscured by trees. From here, we have a really nice view west and southwest of the Roanoke Valley. And across the valley are the Allegheny Mountains, including some of the most famous peaks of the Appalachian Trail. If I studied the map, I may be able to name a couple, but I know from here, I could be looking at Dragon's Tooth and McAfee Knob, but I'm really not sure. 
but I'm looking at these two pointy peaks on the right and left and wondering if those are the two I just named. Either way, really nice view. Really have enjoyed this preserve so far. And I'm gonna bust out the map and show you the loop we're doing and then go up and bag the high point of Reed Mountain after this. This is the free paper map that they have at the trailhead for the Reed Mountain Preserve. The trail basically starts at the edge of a neighborhood, Buzzards Rock Trail, ascends towards the east, sloping around Reed Mountain, and then curving back around to Buzzards Rock, where I'm currently at. Next, I'm gonna bushwhack up to the high point of the mountain, then turn around, and then I'm gonna follow the orange trail, the CC trail, and then curve back around on the yellow Rocky Way Trail, which will eventually connect with the blue Buzzard Rock Trail, forming a nice lollipop loop. High point of Reed Mountain, 2,353 feet, according to the trail map. Finished the loop section and really close to the parking lot, about a quarter mile left on the Buzzards Rock Trail. That last video was from Devil's Knob at the junction of the Rocky Way Trail and Crossover Trail. Decent view southeast of the Roanoke Valley. Otherwise, didn't really see many big viewpoints along the Rocky Way and CCC Trail. But this mountain is covered in deciduous trees. And in the winter, I think that ridgeline hike on the CCC trail would be pretty great. But it's about 1210. So in total, this hike will be about a solid three hours and about five and a half miles. So after this, we're gonna stop for